man, look, what's happening with y'all, man? It's your boy, G2, back at it with another fucking banger, nigga. What? I'm not even gonna edit this video. I'm gonna make this shit real quick, man. I just wanna inform you, man. You know what I'm saying? My portfolio is looking pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my thing lately, bro. Like, you know, something light. Something light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking decent out here, you heard me? But the reason I wanted to make this video, man, is just to inform y'all niggas that you know, Monday, basically the week that's is almost here, Monday, trading started. You got to be careful with your plays, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of implied volatility, especially with the SP500, son. I don't want y'all niggas to fuck up, you know what I'm saying? There's still going to be a 5 to 7% correction. So basically, look, let's go right here. Basically, you know, the spy is trying to crash. You know what I'm saying? This is what I mean. It's still left, a, a, you know, a 7 or 10% correction, like, real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's been pretty doing, doing pretty bad, though. You know what I'm saying? But look, back to the topic. You know what I'm saying? The reason this shit might happen is because everybody in Robin Hood, keep it a brick with y'all niggas, man. Everybody in Robin Hood is dead ass just taking their money and going to a different, you know, a different place like Weibo or some shit or you know Fidelity type of shit because Robin Hood don't want to pay these niggas on you know GameStop and shit so you know what I'm saying I just recommend y'all to just be careful and don't go too crazy on the play if you want to do like a share you know I'm, I'm just giving y'all some tips and tricks and shit you know how to make this bread and shit you know what I'm saying everybody going to um what's it called Sophia Sophia whatever that shit called and yeah, man, I'm not going there. I'm staying in Robin Hood, man. I'm thugging in this shit. Nigga, I don't quit. Nigga, that's how I'm coming. But look, what I want to tell you is about, you know, this is not even supposed to be a long video. It's just, you know, a video to inform y'all niggas what's happening with me. Well, if y'all niggas, I want to ask y'all niggas comment down below if you want to do a daily option. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do an option together. We win as a family. We lose as a family. But basically, we do a daily option together and shit. You know what I'm saying? We cook that bitch in the pot, man. And the next day, we sell that bitch. We either going to do a swing or we're going to do like a day trade. You know what I'm saying? If it's going to be a day trade, I'm going to call it ODP, a one-day play. A.K.A. a day trade. You know what I'm saying? You buy the stock today or you buy an option today and you sell it the same day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know, man. As you can see, I'll be making this moolah with that shit, dog. On me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Niggas making. Let's go to Macy's real quick, man. I'm just giving y'all a glimpse of how I'm living. But look, right here. Right here. So look. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Okay. Look. So basically, you know what I'm saying? I made a little something right there with the 14.50. You know, I made a little something. But look. Basically, I took out 222. And I made $666, dog. That right there is what you call a swing play. Basically, I bought it, as you can see, January 26th. And I sold that option on the 27th. You know what I'm saying? And I sold it too early. I could have made a thousand off this shit, dog. But look, I'm just giving you a glimpse of how I'm living. So basically, the stock rose up to the highest price. And you know me? I bought a fucking $19 put on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That bitch just dropped. I mean, I could have hold it on to Friday, but I swung, I, I day traded that one. Basically, you know, I just gave the two examples right there. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? If I would have swung it, if I would have swung that bitch to like Friday, because I bought it on like Wednesday, I would have made a couple like at least $700. You know, this is why you gotta have patience in the stock market. Just because your stocks are down, don't mean, you know, you know you're down. Remember, they always go back up, so don't even trip on that shit, you heard me, on me. But yeah, man, let me give you another example of, of option trades. Let's go to Microsoft. So, you know, me being intelligent, I knew everybody was investing in GameStop and AMC, pumping, you know, pumping that shit up. Me being woke and shit, you know, third eye opening. I was like, I bet the market is soon going to close. It was around 3.30. I, be, I placed a 240 put when Microsoft was 241 and shit, you heard me? And you know, I just waited and I swung that bitch. <clears throat> I paid 139 for that contract. 
the contract to hold on to your shares and betting that this shit is about to drop. And that's what it did. The spy started crashing because everybody was on it. AMC and GameStop trying to pump it up and shit. You know, so everything was just dropping. You know how to deal with this, man. These hedge funds don't want people to win. But yeah, man. If you're the key to comment down below and let me know what you think.